Right, here we are in a uh, very stylish house in uh, South Cheshire. This is a Victorian, mm, yeah, Victorian uh, semi-detached, uh, I suppose they call it a cottage, um, but uh, very nice. And the current owners have done a massive amount of renovation to this house. And uh, the next bit to be done is the bathroom which is where I come in and oh what a flies that's nice isn't it um the bathroom is what you might describe as beyond end of life yep. right. uh, so this is day one on the job establishing myself here and getting in a position where we can start work right so what do we have um not a great deal really uh okay fairly normal uh, well freestanding bath actually ball and claw foot uh loo basin <clears throat> and walk-in airing cupboard and i think the light has been left on never mind um right well this let me just stand back so you can see oh, this is that's going uh, that's all coming out the door is getting turned round so it opens that way um the bath is moving slightly and turning through 180 degrees so that way so the tap end is over there so that mrs customer can be having a bath whilst talking to mr customer who sat on the loo not uh the basin's coming out completely we're putting a shower walk in low level walk-in shower there Probably have to move the radiator um, and where the uh, airing cupboard is, sort of behind here, um, we're putting this vanity in, um, which will be very nice. And then, um, probably up to the level of the dado, uh, we'll put in wainscoting. Now, what's that you say? It's this panelling, putting that round, in almost the same colour actually um so we're going to try and get a match for that dark gray of the uh, vanity and um, do some board and batten paneling around the edge with uh, a crown well, crown molding a top molding there so that's their model for what they wish to achieve um tiling the floor tile is this an after photo no it isn't um, tiling the floor with set tiles, almost the same, not quite, but almost. And then the shower area with metro tiles, which are uh, the other side of the bed. And, um, and there we go. And then we've got some, got some amazing wallpaper for above the, above the dado. Uh, so we've got a false ceiling here. This was put in by the previous owner because oh, that you can just see in the gloom the original ceiling. Um, what happened in these um, sort of oh, this isn't an extension is that the roof comes down to the top of the wall fairly obviously um but you get a curve in the roof um does it show it no it doesn't show it here um and obviously the previous owner didn't want that wanted a nice flat ceiling so put in this uh um paneling um uh, yeah fair enough that's what he wanted to do i have no issue with that um but uh, it doesn't suit the current owners they want the the height uh, which will be nice and then there we go so we've got a bit of work to do here right everywhere's mummified in dust sheets and drop cloths and what have you so I'm in a position where I can actually start doing something
after a morning's gentle destruction we're starting to see the wood for the trees now this light's a bit weird it's all always on seems like permanently on um, no switch seems to affect it so I guess it's been wired incorrectly into permanent live never mind um, those will have to come out and then this afternoon this will be coming down or being dismantled uh, slowly and carefully because we don't want to damage the bathroom Boom. Um, after I said goodnight last night, um, I thought, ah, oh, it's actually a little bit early to uh, finish. So uh, let me just have a little pick at this plaster and see uh, see how well adhered it is. It wasn't. Um, it, it parted company with the wall it wasn't attached to very easily. Right, just made a little start. Pulling all this uh, unpleasantness down. There's a hundred years of soot, dirt, birds' nests, uh, and everything else up here. Uh, the whole house is dust sheeted pretty much. Doors are closed. Mask. Absolutely essential. yet to find a mask that is suitable for people who wear specs. So if anybody out there works for an opticians, then it would be really nice if you could design something. Absolutely filthy. Ooh, blimey. It's time, it's 11 o'clock. It's time for a cup of coffee, I think. a dust sheet over that never mind um right god yesterday what a filthy day 100 year old soot falling all over me um <laughs> when i got in the shower last night the water was running black oh it was horrendous and the couple of times i've been kneeling down um <laughs> i had to use a scrubbing brush on my knees to get them clean oh man it was awful uh, 